All right, so uh, here in this video, we're going to talk about special angles uh, on a circle, or just special angles in general. Uh, basically, what this means is that like when you convert 45 degrees, when you convert that to radians, it just gives you uh, pi over 4, which is you know, nice. All right, this is, it doesn't go into something crazy like 22 over 17 pi. All right, so... Some of these angles are special. Well, the angles that we're going to talk about are special. There are a lot of angles out there that are not special because they don't they don't convert nicely. All right, so uh, we've got I've got two circles here. Uh, in this first this first circle, uh, what it is is it's broken down into 45 degree segments. So 45 degrees, uh, and then this would be 90. 90 plus 45 would be 135. 135 plus 45 is 180. 180 plus 45 is 225. 225 plus 45 is 270. And then after that, you'd have 315. And then you're back here to 360, or usually we'll, we'll just call this zero degrees. Uh, and then in the other circle here, here I'm actually going to use a actually going to use a, a different grid here. Okay. Well, here, I'm gonna fold that a little. All right. So in this one, instead of it being broken into, you know, 45 degree angles, it's it's broken down into 30 degree angles. Right. So. They've got, uh, you know, 0 plus 30 is 30. 30 plus 30 is 60. 60 and 30 makes 90. 90 and 30 makes 120. Uh, this next one would be 150. And then 180. And then 180 plus 30 would make 210. Uh, 210 plus 30 would make 240. 240 plus 30 would make 270 again. 270 plus 30 is 300. And then 300 plus 30 would make 330. And then you're back up here to 360 or 0 degrees. All right, so we're just counting by 30s is all we were doing. All right, and then this first one we were just counting by 45s. So, uh, so I said that these convert nicely over to degrees, and they do. All right. Uh, what we're going to do is I've listed out here. Uh, I'm counting by 45s, but you know, 45 degrees is equal to pi over four. So what I'm doing here is I'm counting by pi over fours <clears throat> until uh, until it makes it around to the the two pi mark. You know, so. 8 pi over 4 is just equal to 2 pi. So I'm just counting this until I get a full lap around the circle. So pi over 4 is, you know, 45 degrees, and that does not simplify, so it's just pi over 4 still. Uh, 2 pi over 4 simplifies down to uh, pi over 2. 3 pi over 4 doesn't simplify. 4 pi over 4 simplifies down to pi. 5 pi over 4 doesn't simplify. Uh, this one simplifies down to 3 pi over 2. 7 pi over 4 doesn't simplify, and I've already simplified this one. So I'm going to use these uh, to make my way around the circle here. So 45 degrees is the same as pi over 4 radians, all right? And 90 degrees is the same as pi over 2. So I'm just counting by pi over 4s here. So this one is, I'll just put equals, pi over 2, all right? And then the next one, since I'm counting by pi over 4s, this one is going to be 3 pi over 4. So I'll put 3 pi over 4. And the next comes 4 pi over 4, 
which is just pi, of course. Okay, and then we've got 5 pi over 4. And then there's 6 pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 2. And then the uh, next one here is 7 pi over 4. And then we're back to where we started, 2 pi. I guess I can put that up here. It's either 0 or you can just call it 2 pi. All right. I'm just going to leave it as 0. That makes more sense to me. All right, so that's going around by 45 degree angles or counting by pi over 4s. All right, we're also going to do this uh, by counting by 30 degree angles or our pi over pi over sixes. <laughs> All right. So 30 degrees, you know, that's equal to pi over 6. And so I'm going to count by pi over 6s all the way around this unit circle. All right, so we've got, you know, 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, all the way to 12 pi over 6, which is 2 pi. All right, so this one does not simplify. Uh, this one would be pi over 3. Uh, this one would be pi over 2. Actually, I don't have to write that one, but this one's going to be 2 pi over 3. This one's going to be 5 pi over 6. It doesn't simplify. This one would just be pi. 7 pi over 6 doesn't simplify. 8 pi over 6, that would be 4 pi over 3. 9 pi over 6, that's going to be 3 pi over 2, which I don't need to write. And then this one would be 5 pi over 3. And that one doesn't simplify. Okay. So I'm counting by pi over 6s here. So pi over 6 and then plus another pi over 6 is going to be 2 pi over 6, which is pi over 3. So that's my 60 degree mark. Uh, the next one here, this one was going to be pi over 2, but I already had that pi over 2. I guess I'll just put it, all right, pi over 2. I'm going to put it again. It didn't hurt anything. All right, and then this is going to be, so we got 1, 2, 3. This is going to be 4 pi over 6, which is 2 pi over 3. And then this one's going to be 5 pi over 6. Okay, and then 6 pi over 6, which is just pi. This one's going to be 7 pi over 6. Oh, one second. Move that up so we can see on our list a little better. All right, 7 pi over 6. This one's going to be 8 pi over 6, which is 4 pi over 3. Okay, equals 4 pi over 3. All right, next is going to be 9 pi over 6 which is pi, uh, 3 pi over 2. All right, after, after 9 pi over 6, you're going to have 10 pi over 6. 10 pi over 6 was 5 pi over 3. And then 11 pi over 6. And 12 pi over 6, or 2 pi, or 0. All right. So this is going around the circle. These are special angles going around the circle by 30 degree increments. All right. Both in degrees and radians. So make sure you have this one. That one's special. And also make sure you have the, the one where we go by 45 degree increments as well. All right, these are going to be very important later. Uh, I, do recommend, I do recommend that eventually you kind of memorize them, uh, both in degrees, radians, and kind of where they fall, where that angle falls on the, you know, on the circle here. So that way you can recognize what a 135-degree angle looks like.